Wait, I can explain. I didn't know he was going to go missing, and okay, so I haven't filled out all the daily logs for the guy in months, and yes, okay, so I napped through all of the training videos, but I didn't mean to, and I guess what I'm saying is please don't fire me. What? Uh, I'm not here to fire you. So you're not working with my boss? No. Nope. Oh, man, that's a relief. Well, then, <clears throat> this is Control Tower number 32, Operator Alex Lintrong speaking. Hi, Alex. I'm Nancy. Oh, uh, well, hello. I'm a detective trying to find out more about Magnus. Magnus. He's gone, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to get in trouble. Don't worry. What did you hear? Some pretty messed up stuff. I I don't know if I can tell you. Why not? What? Whoever took him, they might come after me too. And if my boss finds out someone went missing on my watch and I didn't report it, look, I need this internship. If okay. I get fired here, I'll be a barista until I <sighs> die. I'm allergic to coffee, man. I can't go back. I can't go back to that life. Alex, slow down and stay calm. I need your help. If what you're saying is true, Magnus might be in serious danger. Yeah. But you don't have to handle this alone. I... Uh, okay, I heard Magnus calling in early morning, same as always, just to say hi around mm -hmm. six. Then we started chatting, just like we always do. He was excited about the ship he was piloting. He said it was his baby. He started pulling into okay. Sea Harbor. I heard a voice... On board, I mean. He went to go check it out, left the radio on. I heard shouting, fighting, then nothing. Just silence. That's not good. Okay. I think this investigation just went from missing persons to abduction. Uh, yeah. It's dark out there, and the water's cold. But I know he didn't go on his own. That's why I'm keeping my head down. Could you hear anything Magnus said? Something about the ship. That's all I got. I, I was too scared. Oh, I hope he's okay. Okay, so someone attacked him. Oh, wow, okay. Who are you? Just a lowly undergrad assigned to a cubicle, a pair of headphones, and a computer. Sweet. I'm here on an internship for my maritime psychology degree. My parents said I'd never find a paying job, <laughs> which shows them. Uh -huh. Me and Matt, we're kind of buddies. I mean, we never met or anything, but whenever he'd radio in, he always wanted to chat. Not a lot of people want to chat with the intern. Are you from around here? Nope. Massachusetts. Oh, so that's a spoiler for the here? next game. Whoa. Deep. I gotta think about that one. I mean, what are any of us doing in this crazy messed up world, you know? No, I mean in Iceland, in a control tower, you know, that stuff. Oh, that. I work Jeez, in the harbor control. They tried to be office. way too funny with I that. I track of ship movement and speak with anyone taking a ship to harbor in Iceland. What can you tell me about Magnus? He's totally weird. Good weird. Not serial killer weird. He's one of those people who rarely speaks, but when they do, it's the most interesting thing you've heard in days. He huh. bottles up thoughts and distills them. Oh, interesting. Yes, okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um. What on earth is a maritime psychology degree? I have a 30-page thesis answering exactly that question, but it can all be boiled down to two words. Sailor feelings. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Nancy does, does not care. At all. What did you mean by daily Jeez. logs earlier? There are these logs I'm supposed to fill out whenever a vessel passes through us. So, are they filled out? Kind of. I turned one sheet into an homage to my relationship with my mom, another into the super cool drawing of a whale. I haven't been keeping tabs on vessels as well as I should be. <laughs> How cool are we talking? The coolest! I actually stapled it to my cubicle wall, and regardless, I don't have any records of Magnus going through our waters. <laughs> I need a way to distract someone on board this ship. So you can do what, exactly? Snoop through their stuff. Hey, at least you're honest about it. Acceptance is the first step to healing. <clears throat> yeah, I can help. What? What do I do? Hold up, Klepto. I've got a favor to ask first. All right. Okay, oh. name your price. There's a lighthouse near Skip Rock. Mm -hmm. You can probably see it from town, but... The light's busted right now. Okay. If you can get up there and fix that light, it means I can stay here at HQ with my cup of tea and giant snuggle blanket. I'll give it a whirl. My cell number is 978-555-0139. Give me a call when you're standing in front of the light. I'll tell you what to do next. Sounds good. Have you met Dagny? Is that the super mercenary one? Always freezing, kind of sassy? Sounds like her. Yeah. She used to call me all the time. Always tried to get information about Magnus's plans to come in and out of harbor. Joke's on her. I'm so disorganized, I can't match my sock colors, let alone keep records of Magnus's charting. She <laughs> always wanted to know when he'd be gone. I never told her, obviously. What was she trying to do in his absence? No clue. 
but I did some internet stalking on her, Ooh. one of my many talents. I found out she's wanted in the States for skimming some cash off a treasure find in the Gulf of Mexico. Wow. Oh, that explains why she's been hanging around in Iceland, I guess. Wow. Okay, so she's a thief. What do you know about Soren? Hmm. That guy who runs the festival? Yes. He's worked with us a few times. Always seems like there's something just under the surface with that one. Cheerful and yet angry. Or bitter. Like he was holding something back. They say huh. Icelanders never forget a grudge. They do. And by they, I actually just mean me. <laughs> Any other information for me? Not really. Mostly I just kick it in this cubicle and keep my tall ship's lifestyle blog updated. It's called Ship Facts. Wanna hear about it? No thanks. Yeah, I'm alright. Let's not. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Okay, so we gotta go head out to the lighthouse. And to do that we actually have to go and fix Okay, go. Uh fix this. Uh, this is the mad cat. Uh, I just, uh, hmm, where's the, um, you know, the, this thing, uh, this thing, uh, this is gonna help us here. The motor's busted, can't take it anywhere like this. There we go. The motor's intact, okay. but I'll need to replace the spark plugs and cables. Yeah, so basically, red side, so we gotta put the red ones on here, and the black spark plugs on here, and then so on and so forth. Uh, so basically, I think this is the way it's supposed to go. I do not have this memorized at all. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so these are all actually numbers uh, that you can find in the guidebook here. That's all what these are right here. Uh, so this one, right here. Just like that. So that all these it's add up. Working. Different Don't numbers. Know this is, but I'll just borrow it for a little while. Heck yeah. It's too high to reach at low tide. Oh, nuts. Okay, Nancy. Alright, let's let's uh I should try to get some sleep while I'm here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because currently we need this at high tide, so we can actually head out to the lighthouse and do things. Uh... Alrighty. Actually, I think there's a phone charm down here. Maybe not, actually. Okay. I thought there was a phone charm here. Okay, a lighthouse key. Give me that. Oh. Well, I made it to the top. Better give Alex a call. Uh, phone. Alex trying. Okay, I'm in the lighthouse. Awesome. I can remote the power from here, but I'm going to need you to get all the pieces in place first. Sounds good, One Brew. of our staff programmers wrote a new idiot-proof failure mechanic for it. Anyways, I think you need to mix the color channels to create white light. When all of the channels are white, the light will power back on. This process sounds anything but simple. Dude. Yeah, exactly. That's programmers for you. Give it a <laughs> whirl and give me a call if you get stuck. I need to create white oh. light to get the lighthouse running again. Oh, this is easy mode. Okay. This is like the, the 2048 game. So I think we can just do this. You know what I'm saying? Like this game is just, you know, super easy. There we go. Okay. It actually does take some time to get to where it is you need to go, though. Uh, nice. All right. Better be forewarned that there is a very good chance that you will not get this done on the first try. That's very likely. 